Chairwoman of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, Democratic Congresswoman Michelle Lujan Grisham. Congresswoman, thank you so much for being here tonight. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Casey. I want to start by asking you about your recent meeting with the White House Chief of Staff, John Kelly. Can you explain to our viewers a little bit about when you met with him, how that fits into all of these negotiations to reopen the government, and what did the two of you talk about? So that meeting occurred early last week. I think it was Tuesday. That meeting was uh, based on uh, General Kelly's request. We'd had several meetings before that. I can tell you that the conversations were a bit tense. Uh, this conversation had a whole different tone, but General Kelly did not offer anything, and we asked repeatedly. We've given you... We've given you uh, a fix for DACA. We've been negotiating bicameral, bipartisan. We have a growing number of Republicans. Everything that you said generally that you wanted. And yet, we don't seem to have the right kind of movement or signal from the White House. And he really didn't give us much in terms of specifics, except, as you know, he indicated that can, the, the campaign candidate Trump was far different than President Trump. And he really tried to minimize in that meeting that we were really talking about about a 20 to 30 billion dollar 2,000 mile uh, structure, a wall. And so, it, as you know, it changes every single day. Congresswoman, do you agree with Luis Gutierrez and with Chuck Schumer? Do you think that the wall should be built if dreamers can stay here? So the position of our Hispanic caucus and my position, I've got legislation, build bridges, not walls, has been a wall is unnecessary, uh, impractical, uh, and doesn't do any of the things that we want it to do, but clearly makes a statement about the United States. But doesn't it indicate and fly in the face of so many hardline Republicans in the White House who have said that Democrats can't move on any of these issues. If you have Luis Gutierrez, one of the most ardent champions of immigration community rights and issues related to immigration reform, who says we will do whatever it takes to meet you on your issues if it means that we are going to protect these dreamers, tells you that they are not negotiating in good faith and they are not providing the bipartisan work or the work of Democrats any space for success. And Luis and so Schumer you, are clearly indicating that they're willing to do that. Do you think that Chuck Schumer should not put the border wall on the table? Do you think that was the wrong move? You know, it's, uh, I wasn't in that room, so I don't know what any of those conversations were, and I don't have the language of the, uh, of the Durbin-Graham proposal. I, I don't think spending that kind of money on a wall makes any sense if the real issues by many reasonable Republicans is we have to have an operational and secure border, then it makes no sense at all. But I do appreciate that there are signals by Democrats that there is openness to try to provide proposals. So there may be structures that we need to reinforce or add along the border. And if that's what that meeting meant, well, then I think that many members of the Hispanic Caucus and many Democrats would be open to those uh, ideas. But the devil's in those details. And again, the White House. We never know what it is that they want, so it tells me they don't want any of this. They created the DACA crisis. That was done on purpose. Democrats gave them a three-month CR to keep government open so they could address this and many other issues, and they won't do it. They're using this for cover. Do you think that this shutdown is worth it? Uh, a Trump shutdown, for me, none of this should be happening. They did thus this to Americans. And I gave, we gave them, uh, members of the House and members of the Senate gave uh, Republicans who, as you know, control both chambers, countless opportunities to do a multitude of things that would keep so government So is that open. a yes? It's worth it? No, it, it, is, it is reflecting right back. Why would they do this to all of us? What's worth it is if this gets the White House clearly engaged to tell Republican leadership to give us a vote on a multitude of things that would open up government and would solve the DACA problem, that would be amazing. But the Trump administration is unwilling to do that, and this is what they got. And I'm appalled that we are right here, right now, uh, in this environment. Congresswoman Michelle Lujan Grisham, thank you so much for your time tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Casey.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.